Hello everyone and welcome back to RimWorld Alpha 16 and of course to the colony of Medusa's Raft. Now, we have a few things that we need to work on. Balthazar, once they stop wandering around in a mental state, is going to be capable of doing some pretty awesome growing. So I think we need some new grow zones. And uh, yeah, 5x5 five five area down here for heal root seems like a good move. We could start baking hops, but we have no way of actually producing beer yet. So that's not something we should initially, you know, throw ourselves at. But what about a little area just about here? I'm thinking for smoke leaf. That might be a, a good plan. Uh, furthermore... Oh, a battery's broken down. Well, drat, we've only got two of them. Damn it. Oh, well. Hopefully we can get that fixed soon. In fact, let's go ahead and... Where's power? We'll pop in another battery, I think. Right there. And perhaps another solar generator is about due. Mm. I mean, two solar generators. This will cross over into a bit of the area where I've got growable land, but I'm okay with popping that in there. I think that'll be okay. And uh, next up, we are going to need to check on the bills that we have here. Now, currently, we're cooking simple meals up to 20, and that's fine. Having 20 simple meals in reserve is good, and they'll get back to making those when it drops below 5. However, um, see, the problem, problem here is that I need to control this in such a way that we don't end up ever having all cannibal meals or all simple meals. Having all simple meals isn't actually that bad. I wonder, have we got anyone who can make a fine meal? No, no one in the colony can yet. However, that being said, I'm going to say, look, make simple meals, and in fact, make them up to 30. Have 30 simple meals. And these can be anything that isn't people. Alternatively, make at least 10 fine meals, which will only contain human meat and some sort of vegetable. Because, come on, a human, a, a cooked meal made of people, that deserves to be fancy, in my opinion. Much better than this, you know, just potatoes, just stodgy potatoes, a lump of mashed potato. Quite delicious, but it's just simple. But no, Dark Havoc, Dark Havoc has, has finer tastes and any anyone who might join the colony who also enjoys those same fine tastes but as this is going to primarily just be for dark havoc in fact let's just have 10 of these um pause and completion resume on low stock of five that is fine uh but there we are so any kind of vegetable and of course human meat so there we go that'll just sit there and that can be done Whenever, in fact, uh, that can be done as a slightly higher priority. Now, it would be good to get the fridges set up in here, I think. In fact, let's let's see. How How's our power in general? Power, connected stored rate. Well, actually, a lot of this is not great. Uh, connected transfer. No, we're, we're doing all right, I would say. Let's go ahead and build a single refrigerator right about here, I would say to hook up to the cooking stove, and we'll make that for vegetables of any kind. There we go. So we've got a couple of things that we need to get done now. Additionally, we really desperately need to set up a larger area. And for that, let's go ahead and use... At this point, have we got many bricks? We're actually starting to produce a fair few slate bricks. So... Let's draw this out to about there. Let's see. How far is this range? Okay, so this is where we need it. So let's go ahead and correct that. That's the point where we can actually start hitting people. So at this point, we'll draw this up. And uh, about three. No, we'll take it all the way. And we'll do something along this line. There we are. There's many, many more bricks that we need for this, but we'll get them in, in time. So this will be an area where we can just uh, assault people who are trying to attack our colony. Everything in here needs to be purged. We need to cut plants. Nothing is allowed to grow in here. Basically, it doesn't matter what it is, it needs to not be there. 
and everything should be hauled out of this area. We don't want there to be any cover available to people in here. Oh, there we go. We've got a raid. A group of pirates from the Loyal Vipers have arrived nearby. They will prepare for a while, then attack. Prepare a defense or attack them preemptively. Oh, what have they got? They've got steel mace, personal shield, okay. Uh, there's a couple of people there. You've got a pump shotgun, you've got a wooden club, and you've got a sniper rifle. See, that is a worry. That is a sincere worry. Alright. Well, we're going to have to wait this one out. Starvation? What? Balthazar is starving. Oh, Balthazar, will you please stop just being nuts? Damn it. Also, Miss Minnie is unhappy about being nude. I mean, you know, it's not, it's not great. Balthazar, will you go and eat? Someone go and feed Balthazar, please. That would be grand. If it could be forced. Failed while constructing the slate block wall. Well, you suck. Damn it, Dark Avak. I'm not used to this level of failure from you. But there we go. Let's get right. Okay, they are starting their attack. So we now need people to... Well, Dark Avak, you can hold position there. Miss Mini, you can use the gun. Steejo, you can go and stand there. Is Balthazar okay yet? No, not yet. All right. Well, the attackers should be here momentarily. And we'll see how they fare against our weapons. Our weapon being a, a great, huge, hefting minigun. But they have got a sniper who has decided that it's really not worth it. Flee! See if Dark Ava can chase them down. Sleepy Joe, move out. Miss Minnie, you are no longer drafted. Get back to uh, to work. If you would be so kind. Well done, everyone. Ah, Balthazar is nomming. Good, 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 good. Hopefully Balthazar can start work down there very, very soon. Sleepy Joe, you're not going to achieve much there. Go on. Dark Havoc. I'm not sure Dark Havoc's going to catch up. I don't think. Let's actually have a quick look. We can easily see. What's your speed? Um, where is move speed? It's 4.58 cells per second. And Blair, your move speed is 4.51. Over a very long distance, Dark Havoc would eventually catch up. But this is not going to happen today, so we're going to cancel that. You can go get back to your regular work. All right, okay, so what I would like is for everyone to get everything. Go ahead and uh, unforbid all. There we are. What's wrong? Wrong, where's Yoko? Allowed two things across the map. Critical alert. Yeah, Balthazar is... Oh, no, no, it's Miss Binny, sorry. What's up, Miss Binny? Let's have a look. Uh, we butchered human night, naked, disturbed, sleep, ugly environment, in a little pain. Well, I mean, I'm not sure what I can do. Could I? Hmm. No, I'm really not sure what I can do. I think we're just going to have to wait on that one. Right, the fridge, though, has been built. Wonderful. Let's set up the storage plans for this. Foods, not meals. Uh, well, I mean, I guess I could store the meals in it, but per uh, personally, I would prefer to store the raw food and vegetables. Any vegetable can be stored in there in significant quantities. Poor old Miss Minnie. I really do need to get you some clothes, don't I? Um, well, Dark Havoc is busy at the moment, so... Cargo pottery nearby. Let's have a look. Ooh. Wake up. Okay, that'll help. Basically, pill forms of coffee. And there we go. All the food has been dealt with. I'm pleased. Right, we're going to need a little bit more steel, though. Where's the nearest steel on the map that we can mine? Uh, there's got to be a fair bit nearby. There's also some components down there. There's also a bear down there, which I'm not super eager to go and fight. Uh, the other thing, actually, someone mentioned in the comments that I have disallowed corpses in here. Oh, no. Oh, no, yes, I've disallowed human corpses. So we'll set that up, but I really, really do quite badly need some steel. Where is their compacted steel on this map? There's a tiny bit over there, but that is miles away. There's probably a good chunk in that little area there. A good chunk there, too. But nothing particularly close by unless I've missed it. Which is a bit of a shame. Oh, well. We are going to need the steel, so... I'm going to need to set this up as a mining location. And hope that we can get that sorted quickly. There we go, a bunch of people heading off to do some mining. Oh, wonderful. Miss Minnie really does need some help, though. Oh, her mood is improving. Okay, well, that's pretty good. Critical alert, it's it's going up, it's going down, it's going up, going down. Oh, where's Dark Havoc these days? Currently mining. That's okay. As long as we... Right, Miss Minnie, 
I would like you to haul a load of the, the steel, please. And I'll gather, let's get you back to this. And you can grab the steel. No, grab this steel. There we go. And then, about there, grab this steel. There we go. Ah, the perfect amount of steel being taken back. And Miss Minnie's already built the solar plant. Well done, you. Uh, where are you off to now? Uh, cutting dandelions. Um, okay. I suppose that's okay. I'm not going to complain too much. There we are. Right, well, let's actually have a look at the social drugs policy. What is this policy? So, social drugs, you can have socially drink beer and socially smoke leaf joints. I'm going to say no to, well, hmm, for addictions. Use this drug to feed already established addiction needs. Even if disabled, some characters with specific traits or mental breaks may use the drug anyway. We've got scheduled and then we've got for joy. Use this drug for joy and social purposes, even if disabled. Well, that's actually kind of what I want. Um... But I'm gonna I'm gonna allow beer, but in terms of frequency, only if mood below forty percent. There we are. If joy is below, no, I'm not gonna worry about joy. Only the mood. So you can you can have a smoke leaf joint if your mood is particularly low, and that is all. There we go. And that should be okay. Wake up, I guess. I could have been using wake up uh, at any point. I'm not sure. Oh, thank goodness. Someone is planting heel root. Oh, this is good times. Okay, Miss Minnie is probably getting a little bit sick and tired of her bedroom being the communal area. And I can appreciate why that's annoying. Hopefully, we can resolve that. Now, a couple of people expressed concern over the priorities of hauling and cleaning. And to be fair, they aren't amazing. You know what I'm going to do, and I'm going to adjust a couple of things, but I'm going to make the general form of hauling and the general form of cleaning a priority four. So, haul general things, priority four. So, we should hopefully get a couple of these things sorted out. And now everyone's mood is just slightly improved. Okay, I'm liking that. I am going to need Dark Avid to start working again on making these things. We've got an unfinished dehyde overall. And unfinished beaver skin cargo shorts. Could you please work on this? Who's making that? It was Dark Attic. Okay, so there we go. And cargo shorts made. Perfect. Hopefully someone will go and grab that now. What are you going to work on next? You're going to work on cloth cargo shorts. That is fine. Hopefully Miss Minnie will go and uh, grab that at the next earliest convenience. Uh, what just got messed up? A bear ate a beaver. Well done, you. I'm okay with this. Frankly, I am very okay with it. And they're eight year old. Okay. I wouldn't mind getting that bear. If if I'm gonna be honest, if if we were able to wound that bear a bit, such that uh, we could then rescue it and just heal it, there's a small chance that by rescuing an animal, I've been told in the comments, that they will become tamed. And in fact, for certain dangerous animals, it's actually a lot easier to tame them that way than it is to tame them through trying to tame them. It's also a lot safer. So, yeah, I might well do that. Oh, we're making human leather cargo shorts. Ah, oh, this is going to be good. Oh, yes. Miss Minnie, have you actually put any clothing on yet? There we are. Beaver skin cargo shorts. You are possibly not super unhappy. Oh, no, you are still super unhappy. Um, you are not, though. There you are. You're also wearing the cargo shorts. I am super glad about this. Very, very happy, I must confess. I am going to say that I would prefer us to have cargo shorts as a thing. In fact, let's go to the assign menu. Let's have a look at our outfits. We've got worker. Let's check this one on. So apparel. I would like overalls. Well, not pants. I would like cargo shorts instead. There we are. I'm not entirely sure that things like... The, the construction jacket would be good if we had them. Construction jacket, overalls, and cargo shorts in combination are a fantastic group. And I'll turn the others off. Once we have these, then I think that would be a better idea. This guarding vest, the jacket can go. We'll leave the parker on. Uh, scrubs, thermal pants, no. T-shirt, no. Um, 
button down shirt. I don't think we really care for that. All of these can be turned off and we will allow only... Um, well, actually, I'll allow the toque for... Um, or maybe the cowboy hat as well. That'll be the worker setup. Until we've got those things, I'm not going to set anyone to it. But we're making two cargo shorts, four overalls. Uh, I'd like a couple more. In fact, let me let me make sure that we've always got a certain amount of cargo shorts. Let's always make sure that we've got at least two cargo shorts and always two overalls at least. We will then also have... The construction jacket. There we go. And again, until you have at least two. These will be maintained. And then we're just going to want one for making a certain number of overalls. A certain number of cargo shorts. So I would like, say, five overalls. Five cargo shorts. Less cargo shorts, actually. We'll have uh, a certain amount. And... A, where are we? Construction jackets, another five of those. And that should actually set us up fairly well. We do actually also want, probably, to keep at least two cowboy hats, I would say. Sleepy Joe is being attacked by Timberwolf. What? No. Well, damn. Damn, damn and blast. Okay. You're going to be in a lot of trouble soon. Where's the nearest person to you? No one. Okay, I need everyone over here right now. Go. Go, go, go. Sleepy Joe is going to lose this fight, I fancy. Uh, you've been clawed a little bit. The Wow, Sleepy Joe's actually doing a bloody good job. A really good job. If you can manage to take this Timberwolf out. Okay, now you're getting some, some cuts. Timberwolf's hurting quite badly. Wow, you are walloping that right leg. Wow. Sleepy Joe just meleeed a timber wolf down. I want you to all take a moment to appreciate just how ridiculously badass that was. Now I would like you to bring in this beat. And Dark Avak, I mean, hmm, maybe we could. Maybe we could just bring this back and try to medic it a little bit. Put it back together. Possibly tame the thing. Having a timber wolf alongside our wag, that would actually be quite nice. Uh, sure, let's... How much brick have we got? We haven't really got much. So, let's go ahead and use wood. We'll make a little, little area for taking care of our animals, perhaps. Or dangerous animals, maybe. We could just build it out here. Something like that. Put in a little door. There we go. Then we can uh, dig this out a little bit more as well. Make it a bit bigger. Um, yeah, let's uh, make that a fair size. If we can, in fact, we, we almost certainly can. Let's uh, go ahead and put an animal sleeping spot in there. Then, Miss Minnie, could you rescue the Timberwolf? Then I'll have Dark Avak try and medic it. It'll be a good way for Dark Avak to practice his medical skills. There we go. And it's being put in the right place. Perfect. Okay, now, Dark Avak, where are you? Could you prioritize treating the Timberwolf? Just regular treating is fine. There we go. And if we can, we should probably make a little storage of just meat in here. It doesn't matter what meat it is. Just a single storage of meat. A single stockpile zone, like right there. For, well, actually, it would need to be refrigerated storage. And we will see how it goes. We will see how this goes. Eventually, we could just turn this into a, a little area for our animals anyway. So it's fine to do this. How is it looking? Okay, it was reasonably well cared for, honestly. I am going to probably turn off the animal sleeping spot now. Oh, Dark Havoc is feeding it. Okay. Did you feel it like a human food? They are actually caring for it quite well. You know what? I like this idea. I like this idea a lot. Let's go ahead and dig this out. Build a wall across there, and then we can have some power moving across it. In fact, we need to do a fair bit of digging. Let's drive this back a little bit and make that into a proper room. 
I'm liking this. I'm liking this idea quite a lot. There we go, and we'll build that out too. All right. Well, actually, 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 let's let's not make that out of wood. Let's make. We'll eventually turn all of that into uh, slate chunks anyway. So we've got a fair old bit of steel back there. Okay. Well, that was not bad at all. Have we started to move things over? Not really. Balthazar, could I be a huge pain and have you move that? And then haul the corn. There we go. Thank you very much. In fact, I want this storage to be fairly high important. Oh, okay. It's, it's important. That's good. There we go. Miss Minnie, if you would not mind cleaning your room, that would be grand. Next up, let's actually get some better flooring. Now, this one, let's go ahead and have a stone slab there. It, well, no, you know what? I did like my old system of having just a metal floor in each one. Metal tile at the perimeter of every room. There we go. Underneath every floor, a metal tile. There we go. Perfect. And a fair bit of work being done down here. We've got a, now, the thing is, this wolf... Doesn't I don't think the wolf can actually leave. Hmm. That's interesting. I mean, we could go in there. I, you know what? I think we should have this held open. Dark Havoc, could you go, go and release the Timber Wolf? Let it free. There we go. Goodbye, Timber Wolf. Enjoy. Timber Wolf's just gonna hang out at our colony for a little while. Well, that's fine by me. Totally okay with that. Uh, we actually do need to do something about this because things are just going to grow back here all the time. It's going to be quite frustrating. But uh, we could... I don't want to make it easier to traverse. That's the issue. I don't want things to be able to move quickly across this area. But there we go. The timber wolf is gone for now. Sleepy Joe is fully healed. I'm very, very pleased by that. Okay, extreme break threshold. Yeah, you're doing all right, Miss Minnie. You're still naked, though. And that's not grand. We're making a human leather cargo shorts. I approve so much of this. Please continue. There we go. They're only poor, but damn it, they're human leather. I think this is great. Also, I want a human leather. There we go. Uh, I'm not going to have Yoko sleeping in there. You can sleep outside, I think. Um, mainly because that, well, you know what, I, I just need to, to fix this into a proper bedroom. So, how about I go ahead and do that, and we'll have Dark Avax bedroom all the way over here, and we'll make Dark Avax room fairly big, because Dark Avax, you fools. Balthazar, on the other hand, I had a fantastic bit of, uh, fiction about Balthazar, because Balthazar is, is an is aesthetic, and... If we actually look at Balthazar's character traits, he's ascetic, so he doesn't want a fancy room. In fact, that would actually upset him. But look at how he's a, a doctor, he can grow, and he's amazing at, at fighting. He is effectively a warrior monk. That's what that's what uh, comments on the video have have suggested, and honestly, that is now canon. In my mind, Balthazar is a warrior monk, and so it stands to reason that Balthazar would live fairly humbly, would have a little room, just big enough for the things that he needs, just in here. Just just off from the, the main the main area where the fighting would occur. So we're going to do that. Balthazar, this is going to be your home from now on, okay? It's going to be great. Oh, it looks like we have finally managed to recruit Kanga. Well done, Sleepy Joe. Kanga is now wandering around just doing various things, and Kanga has an incredibly narrow range of temperature tolerances, much like Miss Minnie. Well done, Sleepy Joe. Let's just hope that this doesn't... Well, look, let's be honest. Let's just hope that this doesn't go awry. Because it could. It could very easily go awry. And it looks like Sleepy Joe has actually prioritized putting on the cloth overalls. Hmm. Bearing that in mind, then, in the future, that is actually really good. It might be that he's prioritized it because it has uh, a benefit. So maybe I don't need the specific worker setup. We'll, we'll see about that. But let's have a look at Kanga, then. In terms of your character, you were a fire tender. In her childhood, Kanga was responsible for keeping the tribe's fire going. She took this responsibility very seriously. Better at cooking, better at crafting. 
Adulthood. Kangra is a master gatherer. She can find food in the most barren of places using her deep knowledge of plants, roots, and berries. Growing plus four. She's good at growing. She's moderately good with animals, medicine, and social, and decent at crafting as well. Very, very good. You're also a prosthophobe. Not so great. Green thumb just means that Kangra is going to be happy when they're planting something and a night owl. I approve of that one, especially. Okay, well, the very first thing we're going to do is as I feel that Kanga would l unlikely be um, intent on not being up when uh, Sleepy Joe was up, uh, let's just move these around. Now, I, I forget where this falls. I th I'm going to set it up from 11 to 4. That's the sleep time for Kanga. And then we'll get 5 there, and then... Five there and four hours in between, but Sleepy Joe is now going to share that. Now the advantage with Sleepy Joe being a uh, not having a preference, not being a night owl or not a night owl for that matter, means that it doesn't it isn't going to affect his mood if he's up at night. Uh, whereas Kanga is actually going to be happier being up at night and will in fact be unhappy being up during the day so you know we need to need to focus on that we'll put the marriage spot outside of there this can now be balthazar's room for a little while so balthazar your sleeping spot is going away there we go you can now go in and claim this room if that is what you would like but i'm very very happy that kanga's also starting work straight away well done kanga Okay, there we go. Kanga's jobs have been set up there. So Kanga is now going to be quite quite focused on, on, on a few things. But I'm actually thinking that maybe Kanga should have a higher... Be one of the first people who's got a, a focus on cleaning. So I'm actually going to give cleaning as a second priority for Kanga. She's going to do a lot of... Well, no, I'll put her on third. So there are certain jobs, certain really important jobs like harvesting that she will do first. But it's going to be a fairly high priority for Kanga to clean up around the colony. There we go. Right, Kanga, have you actually got proper gear on? Yes, you've put on human leather cargo shorts. Well done, you. Has Dark Avak done anything like that? Or is Dark Avak really happy with his synth thread pants? And so disappointed in you, Dark Amic. But okay, we're back to just getting regular stuff done. As you can see, I'm going to be taking apart some of this area to uh, set up a proper little um, room there. And we, we, we're going to adjust this a little bit so there's a, a bit more protection offered for the people in the in the gunning room. Minor brick risk and unhappy colonists. Yeah, it's going to happen, guys. It's going, it's going to happen, I'm afraid. Uh, could I get Balthazar to help me out here? Could you please haul that steel out of the door? There we go. So there's a little bit better. And Sleepy Joe can go and cuddle up with Kanga and everything will be grand. But it's on that note that we're going to be wrapping up this episode, I think. We've uh, done a little bit of work in the colony. We've got most people now have their own rooms. Balthazar from now on will be sleeping in that room. Dark Avak, would you mind? Oh, actually, we don't have that much food for us to worry about. So that's fine. You can just continue with that. Actually, now we do. So if you could please haul this food in there. That'll just make cooking a little bit faster we still aren't placing the cooked food in a refrigerator so it is slow but generally speaking it is it is gonna help out a little bit in the future i will optimize that later on though an escape pod has landed okay well i guess we're gonna be wrapping things up by looking at this we've got wolf wolf let's have a little look at you you're 47 mm. You're a convent child and a paramedic. You're incapable of intellectual or violent, and you're a slowpoke, and you're teetotal. I mean, I like teetotal people, because it has almost the word tea in it. Slightly misspelled, but I can imagine. However, you're a good doctor. You're a good grower. You're a reasonably good constructor. But I just don't think that you're, that you're the right kind of material for this colony. I think what we'll do is we will set them up a little spot to rest in and we'll pop it somewhere um that can go in miss minnie's room dark avac you can go and rescue them we will heal them but we're probably not going to uh probably not going to recruit them but that is going to be it for the town of medusa's raft i hope you've enjoyed and will be joining me in the future as always your feedback is very very welcome down in the comments below and remember to like if you liked and sub if you haven't i'll see you next time take care everyone